Hey guys, BTV Station 101 coming to you with a lot of Lego. And today I will be reviewing the Lego City Fire Station set number 7208. This is the newest fire station of Lego City and it is a lot better than the piece of crap old fire station. Anyway, four main figures starting with the fire chief. He's got fire equipment on. Ready to go ready to go put out a fire. And this guy, he has I think he has the same face as the guy in the in the old Lego City fire car. Set number uh If you know the set number of the Lego City fire car, please write me. All right, anyway, so the he he drives he drive the fire truck or the fire car he could drive either one anyway he's really good welcome back that face welcome back lego classic lego city fire car face that I, I don't know I'm not sure about that. all right anyway oh, moving on here we have a new face he it's a smile it has a grin on it with teeth it's got a yep it's got a grin glasses and orangish eyebrows, and he's really cool. He's really nice. And here we have the old face. And we here we have a face that's getting boring. It's this face with shades, and it looks cool, but it's getting old. All right, so the figures are pretty good. Now moving on to the accessories. Oh my god, the accessories. This set has so much accessories. Alright, it comes with a pair of fire extinguishers, a pair of axes, walkie-talkie, a hose gun, a third axe, shovels and brooms, ladders, Fire extinguishers, fences, TVs, computers. It's so cool. It's really cool. Alright, moving on to the vehicles. So this vehicle is the miniature, is the minivan. It's the fire minivan. And it goes into garage one. And it can, it really can fit through. It can... Just move the big fire truck out of the way. Open this. No problem. It fits right through in the breeze. Take it out. So the car's pretty cool, actually. It's got a walkie talk. It's got some accessories on it. It's got like it's got a door in the back. Hang on a sec. It's got ward, it's got like ex equipment lockers. It's pretty cool. Alright, now moving on to the fire truck. Alright. It has some of the same width, it has the same format as the front as the Lego City Corners bus. And what's new about this set is that, get this, the roof of the truck can open. And this has never happened before in history. Two, there are two chairs in here, and those two chairs can fit two firefighters. That was an excellent idea. Over here we have a hose gun here. We have a ladder, crap like that. And we have a cycling bin. So the fire truck's pretty cool. Now, vehicles are out of the way. But there's one more problem. There's one problem with this fire truck. Right here. Let's see. Alright. When I open the... Hang on a sec. When I open the fire truck, this garage goes in garage 2. It can barely fit through. Alright, look. As I'm starting to put the fire station in the garage... The wheel is colliding with the with the wall, and that's not supposed to happen. But as it backs up, 
you can't even see the wheels. Well, I get the camera really down there, you can see them. But it freaking barely fits through the garage. I'm gonna put it in there, get it out of the way. It's pretty cool. Now moving on to the structure. Like every other set with a garage, like the Lego City Garage, this set has an opening and closing garage function. It's pretty cool. And the sign has zero one on it. It means garage one. We got fire sign behind the minifigures. Two axes crossing each other. And the sign for fire station two. Some more ladders. Here's what's here's what's creepy. Each garage has a win has a window on it. But I but that's but right, that's normal. It's pretty cool. But it's normal. And here is the best freaking part of any Lego set ever. Not even the city corner could beat this. The fire pool. Oh my god, this fire pool was the best freaking idea since bubblegum. Yeah. So it's really cool. You can get your minifigure. You can get one of your making figures. You can go down the bowl. And then he's at the bottom, and then the pole collides if he's too heavy. So, yeah, fire pool. It's pretty cool. I like it. So, now moving on to the structure. And in here is a TV. Alright, let's take a little break from reviewing and watch some TV. And now. Stay tuned for the news on City TV. Dun, dun. Hi, we have some breaking news. City Hall's collapsed. If you're a firefighter, go, go, come on, get to the fire station quick. Get to City Hall up in Lego City quick. Wait, you're firefighters. You can't get up to Lego City. All right, so that was horrible. It's got TV, it's got a bed, crap like that. The firefighters to sleep in. It's got a little gap in the window. It's normal, yet rare. It's got a light, light. There's some, there's some lights in this set. Okay, in the store, it's got a red knob in it, and you should walk inside. You have a coffee maker. A chair with a, yep, that's a cash register and a computer. And up on the roof, we have satellite dishes. Satellite dishes pump directly parallel to the awesome fire pole. So, it's pretty cool, actually. Overall, this set is way better than the LEGO City Fire Station, the original one. So, yeah, I this set has a good supply of accessories, vehicles, minifigures, and um, and it's got the just invented, just came up with fire pole. It could be used as a stripper stripper pole if strippers want to illegally visit the fire station, but that wouldn't really happen. <laughs> now, okay, anyway. So the fire station is in, it's a great set and I've decided to give it a 9.7 out of 10. So thank you for watching.